Welcome back, everybody, to ESA Summer Online. We're here raising money for Alzheimer's Fondant, and the links to donate can be found just below the stream. We'd also like to thank Kaspersky, uh, Twitch, and ViewSonic for sponsoring this event. Now it's time for Pro running Wario Land 3 Any Percent. Pro, take it away. Thank you, thank you. Well, uh, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here for Mustache Land 3. Um, I'm Tor, aka Prot, and joining me on commentary is Puppet Master. Hello, um, everyone. Hello, hello. Yeah, so I think uh, right before we start, just want to say that, uh, just so we have the time to say it, in the opening cutscene, uh, while we don't have control over Wario, we can actually still um, add to his speed by holding the direction button he's walking. So we will be doing that. And without further ado, let's uh, count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. So, yeah, just uh, to get that out of the way, we choose Japanese because it saves um, 3.5 seconds already here in the uh, intro cutscene, so it's uh, substantial. And, um, yeah, well, Wario is uh, is out for. We didn't see that because we he did that before we started the stream. But he crashes his plane. He finds his cave with this magical music box, which, as you'll see now, sucks him in. Um, and when he gets inside, he's greeted by a mystical figure. Excuse me. <laughs> already getting dry um, and um, he basically asks Wario to collect five music boxes to set him free because his powers has been locked away so um, that's the main main goal of the game so I'll just be skipping some some text here that says basically what I just told you and I guess uh, I don't know if you want to say something about that uh, puppet uh, just yeah I'll that sounds good uh, like Regarding the game, it's very similar to uh, Warrior Land 2 gameplay-wise. Uh, it's uh, different from a lot of games in that Wario can't actually die. He's invincible, but instead enemies are very annoying and prevent uh, Wario from going to different places. Um, and in addition, Wario has different forms that he can use uh, to advance through the levels, as well as uh, sometimes it's used against him. Um, so yeah, Def we're definitely. inside the first level already, and uh, Prot is going to be using a lot of dash jumps to get through the level quickly. Yes, and uh, the goal of each level is to collect the key uh, that corresponds to a given uh, treasure chest. So um, yeah, getting the treasures unlocks something. Either it unlocks a new level, it unlocks something in a level we've already been in, or it unlocks a whole new ability for Mario, so, well, I guess you could say it's kind of a metroidvania, but yeah, this is the first level done, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, I think it went uh, all right. We got a tight jump that I forgot to mention. Um, I think we have a lot to say about this game because it uh, it goes fast. Um, so yeah, we got a, an axe now that opens up the next level, and yeah, we already have uh, the first major sequence break coming up. Yeah. Another thing to mention is that uh, the game is in a day and night cycle. Uh, so after completing this first level, uh, the time changes to night time, which you'll see uh, going into this next level. Definitely, and that spawns zombies instead of donut throwing enemies. So in this room, we actually bait uh, an enemy called Donuts here, right up here, to throw a donut at us, which uh, turns Wario into Fat Wario. Which is act which it is actually called, and that allows us to um, to get this red key early down here. Um, it is not even a glitch; it's just a developer oversight, which is which is handy here. Um, and yeah, coming up is the first wall jump of the game, which is a major glitch mechanic in this speedrun, which I'm gonna try to nail here. Yeah, so Got Prot is going to be standing on a specific pixel and. Uh, Perfect, he got it. Um, so Ooh, we even got the clip. That's another strat coming up. So I'll. Yes. Okay. <laughs> he got it. That's nice. So he got another wall clip right here, which uh, lets him skip turning into Fat Wario uh, twice. So that's very nice right there. Yeah, that saves uh, a little over ten seconds there. 
because we clip and then, yeah, as you said, don't have to turn into Fat Wario twice. Yeah, I think to mention here is that this trash here, normally you would only get this uh, about 30 minutes into the run, but uh, we're able to get it this early. Yeah, so it is, I guess you can say, a major sequence break here. So yeah, we we've entered the same stage now, but uh, as you may as you know from before, it's um, it's now daytime. So that means different enemies, but it's not really uh, anything we are too concerned about. Just gotta get the the great chest we're getting now, and That's probably right. we've probably forgot to mention uh, different kinds of mechanics that that we use. For example, when I climb a ladder, um, I can I can kind of clip into the wall and leave the ladder a little bit faster, a little bit before I'm all the way up, which saves uh, some frames. Yeah. You're also often going to be uh, dash jumping onto the ladders uh, and then canceling your dash, which is just a bit faster. So this okay. scientist enemy, you're only going to see in this one spot. Uh, he turns Wario invisible so that he can uh, go past these seeing eye doors. Unfortunately, when you're invisible, you can't get the treasure, so uh, we're going to go down here and enter a pipe in order to turn back to normal. Exactly, so that's that's the reason for the small detour here. We can't just uh, grab the chest, unfortunately. Yeah, coming yeah, up, another uh, thing to yeah. uh, mention here is that uh, the music box is organized into four uh, maps, so uh, one for each of the cardinal directions. So, so far we've only seen north, uh, but with this level we unlock uh, the first level in west. Yes, and apologies for if we sometimes speak over each other, we have uh, some little bit of delay betw between each other, so that might happen uh, yeah, a couple of times. Right. We'll try not to do it. But yes, going to the west side now, entering west one, and uh, now we're going to try uh, uh, another wall clip here, set up found by Beckerett, got it first try, that's pretty good. This one is uh, extra interesting because it's um, you actually dash away from the wall and then clip uh, backwards, but um, I think we'll get into how it actually works later, I believe. Yeah. Dodge the coin there, it saves 2.2 seconds in the uh, ending that shows you how many coins you collected. And we don't need them for anything, so... Best to avoid them. And the movement here is actually very complicated. There's going to be a lot of dash jumping, slides, slide jumps, uh, hopping off ladders early. Um, but yeah, yeah the, the level pretty much speaks for itself, I think. Yeah, it's it's one of the harder levels, uh, uh, plain movement wise. This one has some hard movement as well in, the, in this room, and actually also the next one. Uh, but let's just go right ahead and nail that. So you always gotta grab the key first. This room went perfectly. And here's then a that's... small corner boost you can do. Yeah, <laughs> maybe saves a frame. So, um, if done perfectly. Worth it. Gonna try to dodge this projectile now. Got it. You have to leave the ladder or hop off the ladder uh, exactly before he hits you because the animation of Mario leaving the ladder has no um, hitbox, so you can dodge the projectile in, uh, in that way. Yeah, and Prode has to be very careful not to get hit by uh, the worm, uh, which would turn Wario into Ball of String uh, Wario, which means he would uh, roll down all the way to the bottom of that room. At least uh, past the ladder with the enemies that try to cut uh, Wario in half. Yeah, and it's, uh, we won't be using that in this uh, run, but it, it is actually interesting to notice that, um, or to mention that uh, some of these enemies, or most of them actually, uh, count like as a double mechanic. Sometimes you don't want to be hit, but other times you actually want to be hit. Um, and for the worm uh, enemy there, there's some levels that has some kind of a, yeah, I don't know what to call that, um, some kind of block that you can only destroy when you are rolling from... Yeah, when you're hit by the, the worm. Speaking of rolls, very nice sexy roll. <laughs> very nice sexy roll there. So, this is Stallboy. That's the guy that you can see on my desk. Over and done. 
That's yeah. So <laughs> when you enter the stage, you get a random pattern, and this was uh, you could see me kind of go for the the bottom barrel. That's because that's the most common RNG to get. Unfortunately, we didn't get it, so we lose a little bit of time there. But it's um, it's all good. You can actually skip him uh, by doing a, a difficult small clip. I'm just not gonna go for it to um, already ruin the good pace. Yeah, and here we get the first power up, which is the ground pound. And after you get a power up, you get this uh, small animation that explains how to use it. Um, so we are gonna go back into the first level actually now for a second uh, visit in order to get the red chest yeah and this is where you really see the uh, kind of metroidvania mechanics kick in when we go back to the same level but now we can do something else just because of uh, an upgrade and there you just saw me plow through the blocks um, which i'm gonna try i got it again it's um it's a frame perfect thing but it's not that difficult to do because all you have to do is dash and then the very next frame press jump. You can kind of press the buttons almost at the same time and get it. Uh, that way Wario doesn't get any knockback when he breaks the blocks. So that comes in handy, especially in, uh, in this stage. So coming up is golf. One out of five to get the hole in one stage and we didn't get it. It's, there are five stages and uh, you get a random one each time. That's unfortunate. This could be worse. This is one of the better stages to get, I think. That's too much. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, got it. Yes. Great. So yeah, that unlocks um, the the chest in this stage. Oh, would you look at the pace? Actually, world record pace right now. <laughs> Great. Let's keep that going. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 So what you're seeing now is uh, another cutscene of uh, a treasure we got, which is gonna do something to the old world. In this case, unlock the next stage that we're going to visit. And in the beginning of this stage, I'm gonna attempt to set up a quick wall jump that saves a whopping one second. Um, but we gotta gotta go for the swag. Well, we got time for a quick donation. Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. We've got $50 from Mossy Wassy. Says, good luck with the run, G. And thank you so much for that generous donation. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, he's one of my uh, my uh, loyal viewers. So thank you so much for that, Mossy Wassy. Nice. Got the wall clip. Got the wall clip, yeah. And uh, the rest of the stage is uh, straightforward, or I guess... It's not actually straightforward because you have to know which of the pillars you have to ground pound, but I know that, you know, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, you probably saw uh, Proat sliding down the ladder, which is faster than crawling down it. Um, you have to be careful, though, and hold on to the ladder again before you reach the ground in order to not ground pound. Yeah, that's true. There are a lot of small finicky things that uh, it's hard to explain while doing this because we can't always show you unless something goes wrong um but yeah in this stage i guess i guess let's try once just let's try the top route just once uh, we might save six seconds here but it's rng if we can get it yeah didn't get it <laughs> had to try had to try yeah that's unfortunate it's a shame it it's a 50 50. That's right. It depends on that uh, boiler uh, moving the right distance when you dash into it, uh, which is up to luck, basically. So, unfortunately, Pro didn't get lucky here. Yeah, I had some alright uh, boiler pushing execution there. It's um, uh, Wario's hurt box extends behind him, so you can turn around and hit the boiler from behind, and in that way, you will never get a knockback. Um, so that's the safe and fast way to do it and if you dash jump you can spend the air time getting back next to the boiler so you're ready to hit it again quicker so um, but there's RNG in that as well because uh, I think the boiler can be pushed in four different lengths depending on RNG so whenever you push the boiler you could be unlocking it's just always the shortest distance 
And the boiler distance actually really comes into play now that we enter the same stage again uh, for another big sequence break. So first we have to get the key, of course, and uh, even that requires a wall jump to get out of a, <laughs> a hole we are going into not right now. Very but nice after slide there to minimize deceleration. Exactly. Yeah, so you'll see me when and I... Yeah. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, Prode uh, uses a dash jump to set up an early door entry. Also some very nice uh, blocks right there. Yeah, that went well. So and now I have to get out of this hole by doing a wall jump here. Got it. And I guess we didn't even mention it now. Usually we mention that too much, but uh, the wall jumps are... Or maybe you said it, I can't remember. But they are frame perfect, so it's always a nice feeling to get them first try, even though that wasn't first try, but yeah, always good. So coming up now is... Um, yeah, it's a, it's a glitch that is hard to explain in the time that we have but basically we can use uh, the boiler again um, to to push the camera out of bounds which tricks the game into spawning zombies at the lower level here uh, which maybe you can explain why that is important probably yeah, uh, something we didn't mention earlier is that when you clip into a wall, if there is a block above uh, Wario, Wario will be forced into the crouch state in which he cannot move in any direction other than outside of the wall. So this means that we are not able to jump off the wall or scale the wall in any way. Because but when can't Wario jump right enters the zombie state as uh, he's going to right here, He's actually able to jump and scale the wall, or even go through solid blocks. Uh, That's which right. We, use and here. And, uh, we actually got the boiler glitch quite faster and didn't even get to explain that well. But I basically manipulate the RNG by saving and reloading, and um, looking at the uh, the arrow that was in the bottom of the screen. It had to be a specific color. It had to be blue. Um, yeah, this this boss battle is. Uh, it's uh, easy enough if you know uh, the setup, as you saw there. You can already tell we are <laughs> running out of time to explain things. But yeah, it um, it pushed the, the camera, which forced uh, zombies to spawn. Uh, Warrior was in the exact same place and level, as Puppet just said. But yeah, that allows us to clip into the wall and actually climb the tiles um, solely because if Wario is in the normal state, he will be forced to crouch when there's a block uh, above his head. But if he's in the zombie state, the zombie state doesn't have a crouch position, so the game cannot force you to crouch. Um, but yeah, so the reason why we had to force the uh, RNG to be the way we want it is we want only one of the four different push lengths there in order to um, push the camera in the, the way that we want to. But yeah, we skipped the head bash, the head bash upgrade there. And this uh, stage is uh, one of the only places, I believe the only place where we are going to be set on fire only b because it's faster. That's true. Uh, yeah. So normally here you're supposed to be able to swim, uh, but since we skipped uh, that power up, we are going to have to take another route here. And uh, this route means that we have to do uh, these four very precise wall clips. Uh, since there's not enough room to do a uh, normal wall clip, uh, Prod is going to have to dash away from the wall, then press uh, B to dash again to turn towards the wall again. Uh, and it's just essentially double frame perfect and very hard to pull off. So those were some yeah. pretty good walls. Yeah, I, did, I didn't want to interrupt you, but that was actually uh, absolutely sick, especially for a marathon run there. Yeah. It went uh, wow. very fast. So yeah, you might be... Uh, thinking that we are getting set on fire here again to be quick, but actually we need it this time to destroy these fire blocks. And right now I just move the camera in a specific way to manipulate the hammer bot to spawn right there, so I can hit instantly. So now we are spring Mario. So that's uh, the kind of thing. The other stage, if you can remember the West 1 stage, uh, where we went back and forth uh, from side to side going, going down in a room. 
uh, what a horrible explanation, but <laughs> that that room was full of these hammer butts. And if you were if you got hit by one of them, you would fly all the way up because of the one way platforms. So that's a place where you don't want to get hit. But in this in this particular stage, we want to get hit. So they use the mechanics as um, evil and good at the same time. And coming up is um, is uh, the next boss, uh, which is Wormwood, a big nasty worm. And there is a wall clip that we can use that can save up to almost 13 seconds that I'm gonna attempt once, and then we're gonna do it the normal way. And it's coming up now. It's a very difficult wall clip, it has... Uh... The and most elaborate it. timing of any of the wall clips here, because you have to get a running start. Uh, and wow, you got it first try. Right? That is incredible. Crazy. So 13 seconds saved. Um, this skips uh, turning into Flat Wario, and Flat Wario moves very slowly. So uh, yeah, very good work right there. Yeah, that was uh, that was lucky. <laughs> what am I talking about? Absolute mad skills, no Absolute luck involved speed. at all. Okay, so that was Wormwood. I, I, I forgot to even talk about it because that fight is uh, over easily. By standing uh, on the other side, you can always manipulate him to yeah, be on the opposite side of uh, Wario. And this is another music box. Yeah, so in the next level, uh, Prod is going to be using a glitch uh, called the Ladder Scroll, a ladder glitch, um, which basically allows us to uh, manipulate the camera to scroll uh, below where it's supposed to, and it basically wraps around, um, which has some interesting effects. The way also, it's performed is... Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, no, no, sorry, sorry, no. A bit slow then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the way... Uh, the glitch works is you press down repeatedly, which makes Wario just grab onto uh, the ladder for a few frames and the camera scroll down. But since uh, you don't press uh, down for so long, Wario is forced back into his normal state. Uh, so in essence, if you mash at the correct rhythm, um, only the camera will scroll downwards. Um, so what happened there is uh, Prod was actually in the same position, only the tiles, so the graphics shifted. Um, but due to how that works, it basically uh, allows us to get uh, past this uh, fire puzzle uh, tile that blocks the way, as well as a boiler that you're supposed to push normally. Um, yeah, and I guess we have to so. speak about this right now. Um, this yeah. is a very precise, pixel-perfect setup, and I have to time a wall clip now the same moment that I eat this donut, actually got it first try. Um, wow. And yeah, we have to, uh, as we mentioned before, when you clip into a wall, the game forces Wario to crouch, but not if you change states, but how, uh, well, you don't know that, but if you're crouched, you, Wario can't eat the donut. Um, so how do we do that? Um, we have to do that by ground pounding um, the ground as we clip into the wall, so that the animation of Wario ground pounding gives us just a few more frames for him to eat that donut. So it's just to mention that that setup is very precise. And I have to remember now that we have time for a couple of donations, if there are any. We do indeed. We've got $5 from Lookadoon, who says, Wario Land, frick yeah. And I couldn't help but to agree. Thank you so much for your $5. Thank you. And yeah, now we're out of bounds and we've actually exited the the level data completely, so this is uh, now the RAM, the spooky RAM world. Uh, I normally don't save here, but uh, things can go really wrong, and I'd rather you say, see the game than me uh, getting a warp that erases my save. Right there you saw me hit um, a switch once, so I'm just going, looking for a wrong warp pipe here. Just gotta send one pixel, I think we got it now. Yes. So this takes us to a place in the level that we have no business being in right now. Um, so we had to do all that to get here. And because we hit that switch in Out of Bounds, this green wall is now uh, unlocked, so we can get the key right here. And uh, all that is left now is go get the chests. 
I don't know if we <laughs> forgot anything that uh, that went so far. Yeah, so, sometimes you can uh, get stuck under that switch in the outer balance and it'll just turn on and off repeatedly and it's impossible to know uh, which state it is in. And if it's in the uh, off state, I want to say, um, you lose a bunch of time and it's essentially yeah. a run over. Uh, yeah, and I actually got the uh, frame perfect uh, jump from the fire there. It looks like swag, but it actually saves some time because the more time you spend in the air when on fire, the longer the fire uh, state will uh, will take. So you want to jump as little as possible, and getting that jump out of the torch there, um, you uh, save one one jump, so it saves some time. But yeah, this is uh, this was uh, this was a stage, huh? Indeed it was, yeah. Yeah, so here we get the Super Dash power-up, um, which is not the power-up that comes after the Ground Pound. So what you'll see here is because of uh, the way that um, power-ups are stored in memory, uh, we essentially unlock all the power-ups up until the Super Dash. Um, so yeah, very convenient. Yeah, you can see that in the bottom. Yeah, we have multiple power-ups that we have no business owning, but that's that's just in our uh, advantage. And yeah, the best thing about that stage you just saw is um, we have to go back and do it all again. Um, not kidding. <laughs> so if if it didn't kill your run the first time, well, here you go. Here's another chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so right here you got another chance to see the ladder scroll. Which is going quite well right now. It is difficult because it's kind of a specific rhythm you have to have to um, spam in. And here I'm just trying to get this old jump here. There we go. I'm trying this trick once just for swaggy reasons. I actually got it. That's pretty sick. Saves wow. about four seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, not bad at all. Yeah, so I guess here's a chance to talk a bit about how the wall clip works. Yes. So, as I mentioned earlier, you want to stand on a specific uh, pixel before starting your dash. So, what happens is, normally when Wario's uh, just moving, normally running, uh, his speed is going to be two pixels per frame. Whereas when he's dashing, it's going to average two and a half pixels uh, per frame. So some frames he's going to be moving two uh, pixels, and others he's going to be moving three pixels. So when we interrupt uh, the dash, cancel the dash at the correct time, um, wow, this is <laughs> just fantastic. Very yeah. good run. Um, when we cancel the dash at the the exact uh, perfect time. Uh, what happens is you actually preserve the momentum in a way that uh, it's stored for when you next move, uh, you'll be moving at the speed you had when dashing. So if uh, done correctly, when uh, Prode cancels his dash, he's going to be exactly two pixels away from the wall, but going to be moving at a speed of three pixels uh, per frame. And since the game isn't prepared for this uh, Wario being able to move three pixels while in the normal state, he's going to be just one pixel inside uh, of the wall as he moves again. Yeah, and so yeah, that explanation just goes to show how technical it actually is, um, and uh, it really is uh, a tricky thing that you have to learn. So right now we're in the same place again, but our business is different this time and I just gotta get that just takes a long time right now it has to grab onto that there we go so I'm just climbing to the top here letting the camera scroll it's another wrong one that we have to get but it's to another place in the level so it's uh, sort of another place okay that's a yeah and bad, it, it's, it's a very scary place to be because uh, this again we're in the RAM world we are outside of the normal level data and it's littered with the wrong warps that can reset the game or even in some cases delete your save but uh let's hope that doesn't happen here. yes yeah don't uh, even speak about it but i think yeah. we are good now if uh, my counting is correct that was four times 
Yes, and here is the warp. So now we're back in normal level data. I have to be really, really careful in this room, otherwise we have to do... If I make one mistake, we have to do all that again. So, um, I shouldn't have said that, but uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna try my best here. So yeah, of course, that is uh, extremely an extremely technical stage, and it it took the community a long time. I think it was uh, Black who found uh, who found that route in uh, out of bounds there. And for many years, we did something else. So it is very very difficult to find these things. But there we go. Here's the stage. So, because it took some extra time in the Out of Bounds and I had a little extra save, we are behind world record pace now, but only by 25 seconds. So, this is a crazy good run so far. A lot of things can ruin that uh, still, so... <laughs> no reason to celebrate yet. <laughs> yeah, so this uh, next level is also very interesting in terms of movement. You really get to see this thing where we try to minimize uh, the knockbacks you get from uh, destroying blocks. And you're also going to be uh, seeing us slide a lot here. Um, so basically, if you dash and press the down button, uh, Wario is going to be doing a dash, uh, a sorry, slide. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's really just a uh, technical level movement wise. Yeah, and even in the end, it, there's actually a boss fight in this level, but uh, we have no time for that. So I'm going to attempt to skip the boss fight by doing a s yeah, now I say simple, but yeah, a simple wall jump here. If I can get this. There we go. Again, Touch this is coin. a frame perfect trick, so uh, simple yeah, it, is... Risky, because you could actually fall down and hedge and then you're forced to, to fight the boss. It saves just about uh, 22 seconds, I believe. Um, and I think if we can, maybe now is the time for a donation or two. Excellent. Well, I've got two of them, actually. Uh, the first is from Benji. Uh, Benji gives us $20 and says, Hi, Torta. I uh, love your face. Great to see a talented, ambitious runners like you run this amazing game at ESA. I'm happy to have found amazing people in the Wario community. By the way, did you all know we have a Wario relay race soon? <laughs> shameless, shameless. Well, thank you so much, Benji. Thank you a lot. <laughs> and then we've got a, another donation here. Uh, we have $75 coming in from someone named The Cow. And what's the cow say? Moo. All right. Thank you, the cow. <laughs> okay, so this stage is... Um, thank you so much for the donations. This stage is um, another boss boss level. And uh, the main thing here is, of course, the swimming. We can't swim against the current, but uh, I can kind of resist it. So I will be doing micro optimizations here to go through faster. And this, this boss is just riddled with uh, RNG in terms of how long will be him starting off with great RNG. He can decide exactly how long he wants to spend before he throws anything. And uh, that right there, the Goomba thing that comes here is the only way we can attack him. So we actually have to wait for him to throw that. He could throw it like immediately after taking damage. So this is already, this is already very slow. So you, could, you could have thrown that one like five, six seven seconds ago. Yeah, I think I have to jump over this one. Yeah, yeah, just touch the last one. It jumps after you, so you have to be far away from it. And I think we're good. That's it. A little audio cue yeah. there to fall quicker. Yes. And uh, yeah, now coming up is one of the most infamous run killers ever. It's one of the most difficult wall jumps because, uh, like all the others, it's frame perfect. But this time, the twist is that it's uh, outside of the camera. So you have to time uh, time it perfectly, knowing the timing by heart. So this could very well uh, take some time, but let's see. Let's see how quick I can get it. If I fall down, yeah, obviously that means I don't get it. Yeah, didn't get it there. So you really just have to be confident in your timing here because 
you have very little visual cues to know uh, why you failed the trick. So did you yeah. cancel uh, your dash at the wrong frame? Did you cancel it too early? So you really just have to know. Yeah. Very nice. And we got there, I think, what is that? Fifth try or something? That's still, that's still very good. Um, and all we have to do now is some optimized swimming. You can't make that many mistakes of bonks here. Otherwise you'll hit the bubbles and the bubbles take move in that speed when Wario is inside it too. So it takes a long time for you to get all the way up to the surface and then you can swim again. So you do I'm not uh, want to hit the bubbles. Yeah, don't want to hit the, the bubbles now. Yes, more than happy with that. So, um, yeah, so take it away, take it away. <laughs> In the next level, uh, we're gonna see another level scroll, uh, sorry, ladder scroll, and um, I think now is a pretty good uh, time to talk about like exactly how this uh, scrolling works. So basically, when you scroll the camera, uh, the visuals of the tiles moves, but objects such as Wario or enemies or even keys stay in the same place. Uh, what am I doing? Which means that we're able to pick up this key <laughs> even though we are not where it actually is in the level. Uh, and after saving here to reset the game, the tiles switch back to normal. Um, which means we're actually right next to the chest. So uh, yeah, because, um... this is a very fast level. It's a fast level, and that's because I was all the all the time where it looked weird. Uh, I was actually moving towards the chest, and as you said, the level uh, geometry, as you could say, did, doesn't change, but the sprites and um, and the tiles change. So that's a super cool level because we can grab the key through the the wall and then actually be right next to the chest. I had a little uh, little mistake there with the menuing, but um, <laughs> it's all good. So coming up in this stage is. Um, the first water wall jump. That's right. The water can actually carry the state. Uh, I guess you you could. That's not really how it works, but you could say it like that. It can carry the state of Mario being able to wall jump. So we can swim uh, and then clip into a wall later. Just gonna try the first route. Got it there. Second try. That's fine. So now I'm actually in the wall clip state. So I just just gonna go to the wall where we have to go up here. And then move one pixel away and then clip into it. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but pretty good. I'll take it. Yeah, and it's just a very convenient side effect of how uh, the movement is programmed in this game. Definitely. Yeah, and in the next level, we're going to be seeing the same uh, skip used again, uh, the same uh, water storage for wall clips. Just some actually quite precise movement in the beginning of this stage. One mistake can go very wrong. So just doing the setup here. And then, yeah, it's it's funny to notice how... Uh, uh, just a little bit slow here. Come on. Uh, oh, I might have broken it there. No, actually works still. Great. It's funny how they put the key just right out of reach, saying, haha, you can't get it. Um, but but then we're actually able to get it anyway and laugh right back at the developers there. Yeah, yeah. Proud was actually lucky here to be able to get the clip still, because if you move while uh, on the surface of the water, you'll actually use the stored speed from the dash, and uh, you would have to go back and set up the wall clip again. Yeah, and luckily, dash. luckily in that stage, it wouldn't take uh, long for you to set up the the clip again. So it's not a big time loss, but definitely annoying uh, this late in into the run if you are on good pace. Um, this stage has a very uh, interesting, um, yeah, what do you call that? Skip or just getting getting a key early, um, not using any glitch. It's just a developer oversight. But before, just some precise movement here, enemy manipulation, oh, just go right below it. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually baiting this, it's called a pneumo, but it's really some kind of mosquito thing, into this room, and this is not intended. The intended way to do this is, don't ask me, but um, there's a frog uh, at the bottom of this room, you'll get to see it soon, um, which you can, uh, with the super ground pound, which we don't have yet, 
bounce it all the way up and then jump on the frog and get the key. Um, the frog I'm talking about is that one. <laughs> and those are the platforms behind it. You can kind of bounce it up. Um, but yeah, because we skipped Super Ground Pounce, we, we can't use that. But luckily, we can actually use that uh, Numo Mosquito enemy to help us there. And to get it into that room, you actually have to break those exact blocks in that way. Otherwise, it will just it won't get in there, and it will fly back. And so the setup is kind of precise, but yeah. So now we have the last, the very last power up, and as you can see in the bottom, that means we have everything now because of the way it's programmed. And we're heading into the second last stage now. There's nothing really too special about that other than a wall jump. Wall jumps are normal for you guys now. Uh, jumping early here to dodge the zombie. <laughs> Trying once to perform a quick wall jump there. Didn't get it though. But first try, um, normal wall jump, so that's good. So first off, obviously, we are getting the key. And we just got to flick the switch in here. So what I try to do is hit the... Yeah, just fail the jump, but yeah, hit the switch at the same time when I'm jumping up as well. Yeah, and I'm not sure if we... Oh, yeah, that's a bit slow. I'm not sure if we forgot to mention anything important. We probably forgot to mention many important things. I think we're pretty good, actually. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly. Okay. Yeah. Well, then uh, feel free to um, read any donations right now, if there are any. Well, you know, I'd just like to let people know, um, or even pose a question, really, to chat, and that's: Did you know that the World Health Organization classifies dementia as one of the world's greatest health problems? You know, just over forty-seven million people are affected. And it's estimated that, that that number is going to increase um, by triple in 2050. So with your donations, with your generosity, you're helping to fund scientific research in order to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Right. Thank you. Yeah, just a quick uh, corner boost in the end, probably saves one frame or something. And that's... Marks us going into the final stage, um, which, funnily enough, is the very first stage again. So that's the third time we enter that stage. Now with all the power-ups and another door open for us. Yeah, so this basically allows us to just plow through the first level. Um. Yeah, just like this. It's a lot easier now. No precise, really precise movement, especially this jump. Um, so the way they designed this tower here is that they put the key outside of the tower. So that means you have to fall down, grab the key and fall all the way down and do this exact climb again. I think it's um, a bit lazy on their side, but uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and do that. You'll see what I mean here. Yeah, let me just fall all the way down. But coming up now is the, the, f the second final boss. And um, this boss has a very interesting skip that, I'm, that I will attempt uh, until I get it. Which is, um, yeah, it's another wall clip. But the twist this time is you have to do it out of an uh, enemy bounce. Uh, not an enemy, it's a... Uh, it's, um, this, it's a spider boss, and it's gonna throw some some balls of spider web that I can pick up. And what I'm gonna attempt to do is throw that ball of web, and then jump on it and clip into the wall. So yeah, I guess the gameplay will speak for itself if I can get this. It can be a very difficult trick to get, especially because it's right at the end of the run. Uh, it really just combines a lot of difficult. Uh, aspects of the game yeah um. okay we got it there second try that's 
super good. Wow. So, good. yes, yeah, so you can see yeah. that I didn't have time to explain, but I clipped into the wall. I waited for the spider to shoot another ball of spider web so that I can jump on top of that and uh, get to the chest. It's a super cool skip. First try saves 45 seconds, but um, second try obviously saves a lot of time as well. So, yeah, very uh, happy with that. And uh, just as an update, I can tell you that we are only actually only 45 seconds behind um, world record. Um, so this is, uh, has been a great run. Very impressive. Yeah. And just now we got the final music box. Uh, but throughout the run, we've actually only gotten four of the five music boxes. But uh, music boxes were kind of the same as power ups. Uh, in the way that if you have the final one, it's uh, it's enough, <laughs> really. Same thing. You have it all. Yeah, I think uh, the one we didn't get is the red one. Isn't that true? I think it's the red one, but Mario has it anyway. Um, so that's lucky for us. <laughs> um, this is the final uh, cutscene before we meet the final boss. And uh, just like in the beginning, I actually have a little bit control over Mario now. He's he's running by himself, but if I press the direction he's going, he'll run a little bit faster, which can save a second or so here. Yeah. I just, well, just want to say that time is going to be coming up very quickly here. The um, fourth hit on the nose. Yeah, that's right. Uh. Yeah, there's a trick you can do here to kind of uh, catch um, the hand as it falls again and get quick hits. So it's a very short fight, as you'll see. And time! That's it. What a run, what a run. Wow, GG. Um, I have my uh, splits running as well, and um, it's a 45-40, which is uh, incredible. a crazy good, uh, crazy good run. Uh, I couldn't have asked for <laughs> for any more in the, in a marathon run, so totally happy with that. Yeah, I don't, almost don't know what um, <laughs> what to say. You saw in the uh, in the ending there that we, as uh, Puppet explained, uh, we do a quick kill where you can use the same hand uh, to get multiple hits because you jump when he hits the ground, which should, which is intended to make Wario. Um, stunned and he'll drop the hand and you'll have to wait for another swing to get the next you can actually get um, if you time it perfectly you can actually keep hitting hitting him without waiting but uh, the timing for that is uh, crazy so um, that's kind of the fastest safe RTA way to do it but yeah uh, I've, we forgot to mention it actually turned out this game has a huge plot twist the uh, hidden figure from the beginning was actually the evil, evil final boss all along that we helped uh, escape, but luckily it was an easy fight to... <laughs> he escaped, and then we killed him immediately, so... Um, <laughs> it's kind of an uh, anticlimactic uh, ending for him. Um, but yeah, um, this is uh, Wireland 3, any percent. Uh, what a run. Um, what a run indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, you'll always forget someone, so I'm just gonna sh shout out the the Wireland community for being a great community, um, especially for new people coming in. So um, this probably s scared more people than it uh, intrigued. But um, if you are intrigued, there are other categories that aren't this difficult. But um, um, you're always welcome. Um, and yeah, I, is there any donations um, related to the stream that we we should get before we end? No, we don't have anything else. No. Uh, I okay. just want to say thank you very much for the amazing run. <laughs> well, thank you for having me and uh, thanks to all the viewers in the chat for um, for watching the, the run. And uh, I haven't watched the chat, but I, I just know you were going absolutely mad. So thank you for going mad in the chat, and uh, thank you Puppet for um, helping me with the commentary. My pleasure. All right. All right. Well, 
Uh, we are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to have Super Mario World 96 exit uh, being run by Akisto. So stick around. Uh, we'll see you right after the break. Definitely stick around for that.